This meditation, a pause for presence, can be done for just a few moments, a quick scan of the senses, or for as long as you'd like. As you move through the day, pause periodically and briefly reawaken your senses in this way, primarily listening to sounds and feeling bodily sensations. With practice, you'll become increasingly at home in natural presence, in pausing and coming right here into the present moment. The challenge we find in meditation is that as soon as we pause or soon after, we start drifting off in thoughts. One meditation teacher, when asked to describe this world, said, lost in thought. And that really gives us a sense of where we spend a lot of our living moments. In one of his stories, James Joyce wrote, Mr. Duffy lived a short distance from his body. And so it is with us. We remove ourselves from our bodily experience and live in what I sometimes call our mental control tower. In the East, they describe it as the waterfall, this incessant inner dialogue that takes us away from presence. One of my favorite cartoons has a man about to enter a desert and there's a sign up and it says, you and your own tedious thoughts, next 200 miles. And that's kind of how it is. Often our thoughts are tedious. In fact, when we think of it, 98% of the thoughts we have today, we had yesterday. We really are repetitive. We have a strong conditioning to leave the present moment, so we go off in our plans and our worries. And I sometimes think of it like we're on a bicycle, and the more stress we get, the more quickly we pedal away from what's happening right here, as if we need to get somewhere else and quickly. So we leave. We go into a virtual reality, and we leave what's actually here. And you might have noticed this when you've tried to meditate, that the mind goes off so quickly and so often that there's no real ongoingness, no real stability or calmness in the present moment. It's for this reason that one of the main skills that we try to develop in mindfulness is what I call coming back. And it's simply learning to notice that we've drifted into a virtual reality. And when we notice, gently arriving again, right here in the present moment. And the more we get the knack of it, the more we have a kind of continuous attention to what's right here, the more the mind becomes very tranquil and peaceful. So this technique, this next practice we'll be doing, is probably one of the centerpieces to all meditations. And it's sometimes described as concentration because we'll be taking one object, what you might call an anchor, our home base, and we'll be letting that be our place to return again and again whenever we notice that we've drifted into thinking. The most universal of anchors is the breath. Sometimes it's the inflow and outflow of the breath at the nose. For some, it's the rising, falling sensation at the chest or the belly. For some people, it's a feeling of breathing that comes as we experience our entire body, filling with air and then releasing. So the breath is perhaps the most universal, but you might find as you explore this next meditation that for you, it's easier to have sounds be your home base or you might prefer to have all the sensations in your body as a home base. What makes something a useful anchor or home base is that it's sensory specific. It helps to connect you to what's actually right here and now. Before we begin, a reminder, and it has to do with attitude. One of my favorite images for this training and coming back and in concentrating is training a puppy that when you are training in a new puppy, your attitude is friendly, it's patient. You're just trying to be consistent. If the dog pees in the corner, well, our minds do worse. It's said that our minds have no shame. We just say to the dog, okay, come back, come back, stay, stay. So treat your own mind 
this tendency to leave, this tendency to drift, with as much patience, as much friendliness as possible. You might consider this practice that we're about to do in coming back as a labor of love, that we want to be here for this life. Please find a sitting position that allows you to be alert, your spine erect, but not rigid, and also relaxed. Now close your eyes and rest your hands in an easy, effortless way. Take a few moments to scan through your body and wherever possible, soften and release obvious areas of physical tension. We begin the practice of coming back by establishing our home base. While there are many possible anchors, such as sound, our sensations throughout the body, the most common and the one we'll be exploring here is the breath. Please breathe naturally and simply notice where the breath is easiest to detect and where the breath also feels pleasant or at least neutral. So you might be paying attention to how the breath feels as it flows in and out of your nose You might feel the touch of your breath around your nostrils or on your upper lip. Or perhaps you feel the movement of your chest or the rising and falling of your abdomen. Or perhaps you feel your whole body like a balloon expanding with the in-breath, deflating with the out-breath. So just take some moments to bring your attention to the sensations of breathing in one of these areas, a relaxed attentiveness. There's no need to control the breath. Rather, sense you're receiving the breath much like you'd listen to sound with a relaxed awareness discover what the breath is really like as a changing experience of sensations this life breath is your home base a place to rest and be aware so in these next moments Simply relax as the breath comes in, noticing what it's like. And relax with the exhale, letting go, and again noticing the immediate experience of sensations. Noticing where your attention is, you might find that your mind has drifted off into thoughts. This is completely natural. The mind is conditioned to move off into thinking about the future, the past. When you become aware of thinking, you might use a soft and friendly mental note. Just say, thinking, thinking. And then pause and simply re-relax. Just open the attention again, aware of the sounds around you. We 
relaxing your body, just feeling the aliveness in the body. Relax your heart without any judgment. Just allow yourself to gently return again to the inflow and outflow of the breath. Let the breath be an intimate friend, a home base that reconnects you with your own presence. As you resettle with the breath, you might notice other experiences, the background sounds perhaps of a passing car, wind, a bird, You might feel sensations of warmth or coolness. Whatever's in the background can be there without drawing you away. Just continue to rest with the breath, to relax with the breath, with the intention of noticing when you can, when you drift off into thought. If you discover that the mind has drifted again, simply pause, re-relax, open the attention without any judgment, gently come back into this moment. Just to remember that thoughts are not the enemy, you don't have to clear your mind of thoughts. Rather, you're developing the capacity to recognize when thoughts are happening without getting lost in the storyline. Each time you notice that you've drifted or noticed you've gotten lost, it's an opportunity to strengthen your muscle of remembering, of again arriving here, now, gently coming back into living presence. As you notice the mind getting quieter, you might sense the peace that arises when you relax even more and immerse your entire awareness into the inflow and outflow of the breath. Breathing in, know that you're breathing in. Breathing out, know that you're breathing out. Be aware of the beginnings and endings of each breath. Fully here, awake, 
at home in presence. The poet Wu Man writes, Ten thousand flowers in spring, the moon in autumn, a cool breeze in summer, snow in winter. If your mind isn't clouded by unnecessary things, this is the best season of your life.